people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube and people of elsewhere on the internet and i've come to show you my new hubcaps okay first let me give you the background on this my car is a 2003 elantra she thinks she's a 2010 2011 and runs like it i don't disabuse her of her misinformation but because the car is so old, she's had a couple of issues that I've taken care of little bit by little bit by little bit. And one day while I'm driving down the road, I turned to the left and the hubcap on the right tire went to the right in a big old arc. I'm driving to work. I can't stop to get it, but it gave me a giggle halfway to work. So for about a year, the car only had three hubcaps. The car also had a problem with traction. I looked up, I was down to the tread bars on each tire, and I knew I was going to have to replace the tires. So I was saving up for that when I had to fix a little problem with the engine. So, of course, the tires never got, you know, situated. Then when I got a little extra money, I went ahead and put four new tires on the car two weeks ago. Took a while, but hey. And that was with coupons and discounts and all of that good stuff. So, same day, I'm getting hungry. I'm leaving my job. There's a restaurant. I pull into Taco Bell. I let down my window, ready to get my order at the drive through and I heard, eh, 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 eh. what the heck? You know, so I'm thinking it's the car in front of me. Because he was about to have a flat tire. So I actually yelled to the car and said, hey, white car, you're about to have a flat. You're about to have a flat. He looks out he goes, yeah, I know, it's been like that for a week. Okay, well, as long as you know. <laughs> you know. So he drives off. I place my order. I get my food. I'm pulling out. I go to make a left turn. And eh, 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 eh. oh, that's me. And I noticed the sound gets faster as I go faster and it kind of goes away but when I slow down especially like at a drive through got louder took the car back to car deck said hey y'all just put four new tires on here it's under warranty it's making this sound they told me it was probably a rock well I had four bald tires and no noise so I'm thinking well you know they might be right because it now has treads it could pick up rocks so they took a look at it and everything. They took all the hubcaps off, put them back on, said they couldn't find anything. They couldn't find a rock. Sent me on about my mail away. Half a day later, and it was getting worse. So, of course, I took it back. They said, oh, it's your hubcaps. You need to get some 15-inch hubcaps because your tires are 15 inches. And I'm going, well, what size is the hubcaps on there? 16 inches. The tires I used to have apparently were slightly larger, and those were the hubcaps that came with it. Okay, fine. So I go to the store. Oh, go to Myers. Good deal on hubcaps, because when I call a Hyundai, because you know, Hyundai car, Hyundai hubcap, they told me $30 to replace that one, one escaped hubcap. So for four, 30 times four is not amount I want to pay, just for a real cover. My daughter said, Mom, don't do that. Go to Myers and get a four-pack of hubcaps for $15.99, $17 after taxes. I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But my car is a silver gray. The only hubcaps they had in the place, silver gray. Anybody who knows me knows I love a pop of color. So I bought... Some duct tape sheets. Look at there, isn't that pretty? Pink. I've always wanted my car pink. One of these days I'm eventually paint it pink. But it's like every time I get ready to paint the car pink, some mechanical issue comes up or hey I need tires and I gotta take care of that stuff. But duct tape does a lot of fun stuff. So I took the duct tape and I did this to my hubcaps. Look at there. Is that cool or what? The only work, the, this is a stencil or foam bling type thing that I found at Michael's. 
the duct tape I got while I was still at Myers. The only thing was I wanted a teardrop shape. Actually, I wanted it kind of like a triangle thing, but it wasn't quite fitting with this particular model of hubcap. Well, come to find out the initial idea, I was thinking that the hubcaps were already on the car instead of the new ones that I bought. This is totally different. I mean, if you're going to upgrade, don't upgrade the same thing you had. I mean, yeah, something different is good. So I basically just took one of them out and took a clear piece of plastic and a marker and drew basically what I wanted. And then I took that and laid it on the duct tape sheet cut it out, stuck it in one spot, and said, yeah, that kind of works. So then I cut 28 more because each of these little prongs turns out to be seven of them all the way around. So seven times four, 28, duh. Anyway, I was going to paint it, and I looked up how to paint a hubcap on the Internet, and first thing they said was wash it, sand it, blah, blah, blah. I'm going, but they're new in the package. Why do I do that? Well, the reason why you do that is the clear coat finish they put on there is not going to take a paint or something like that unless you stand to give that surface something to, you know, adhere to. And that just seemed like so much for a simple change of pace that I wanted. I just wanted, you know, I was thinking of taking like an enamel paint, just kind of like make a little streak, you know, like little color going in that way when it spins around all you see is the pink and I would have needed turpentine, sandpaper, a busting sandpaper, a wet surface, a solvent, you know, a bunch of stuff for a simple look. That was just duct tape sticks to everything, okay. I used to say I can figure anything, just show me where your duct tape is. <laughs> so, these sheets, they were eight and a half by eleven or something like that. Dollar eighty nine. I got enough left over to make a hair clip, which is why I got a hair clip on there. I'm gonna do something like this with it. Okay. So I used the duct tape, I used the little nail bling thing there. And I figure if it doesn't work, if it comes off, I've spent fifteen bucks for the well, actually seventeen bucks for the hubcaps. Two bucks per hubcap, so that's, you know, eight bucks. And I can always redo it, redecorate it, or whatever. And, you know, the way my brain works, I might redecorate it every other week just for the fun of it. So it's got duct tape on it, but it don't look like duct tape. Look at that. Look, 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 look. And then I stuck it back in the package that way. It's just easier to cart it around. Because my son, when I pick him up from work, is going to take my three hubcaps off that car. I'm going to drive it around without the hubcaps to see if that sound goes away. If it does, then we know for sure it's certain it's the hubcaps. And then those new ones with the front covers are going on it. And if it's still making that sound, that car's going back to car wrecks. And I'm going to say, hey, it's not the hubcaps. There are no hubcaps. Fix whatever you did. Because before they took my money, like 400 bucks of my money, the car didn't make that noise. And now every time I drive, hear that noise. Yeah, I was born at night, not last night, all right? Anyway, just wanted to share that. Oh, by the way, I got a request to make a tapping video with my fingernails. I don't get that. What, what, explain what that's about, you know, tap or what, <laughs> you know. Anyway, it has occurred to me I am not going to take inbox request from someone that is not subscribed to my channel. So, you know, send me another inbox, explain what it is that you mean, and be a subscriber. In the meantime, this has been P Plus 7 on Twitter and YouTube. P Plus elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly com. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.